Hi everyone, it's Amy again. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying the videos so far. So if you've been watching them, you need to keep hold of that dotting tool that we used last time. But this time we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult, mix it up a bit and add a striping brush. So a striping brush is like my go-to brush. I use it every single day. I don't, I don't think I could do a day without it, to be honest. Um, and it does, you'll find it does a lot of the work for you. The longer the stem of the bristles, the more control you'll have over your stripes. In this video, I'm gonna be using a Lacenti striping brush, which is called S1, and you can buy that from Sweet Squared online. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it's nothing too complicated. Um, like I said, we're stripping everything back, we're starting nice and simple, and we'll get more complicated as we go along. With nail art, just to let you know, it probably took me around four and a half years to perfect my normal um, plain nails before I went on to do any nail art. So please don't put pressure on yourself. If you're still perfecting your prep and your application, don't rush. Don't go on to nail art before you're ready because there's no point in banking out some amazing arty nails if they're only lasting for a week okay so i hope you're all getting on well with the design so far and i'll leave you with the video following a soak off of the client's previous set of nails i've dehydrated the nail bed using a buffing tool you can see now in the video i've taken a cuticle pusher and i'm just clearing the space pushing back on the cuticles and then going in with a nipper and taking away any of those dead skin cells being careful not to clip the actual skin because you really don't want to hurt your client Causing discomfort to your client at this point is not right. Make sure you are being really gentle and you don't cause any cuts. Now using a white buffing block, I'm just gonna smooth over the nail plate, creating a nice even space for me to work on. I'm gonna complete the dehydration with acetone on a lymph-free pad. I use gelish base coat with every set and this is because it is so trustworthy and I've got any chipping, any peeling, it's perfect. And then I'm going to apply my favourite all-time colour, which is Peach Whip by Artistic Colour Gloss. Now, this is gorgeous. It creates a nice sheen over the top of the nail, um, but it's not like a specific colour. It's just like a nude, and I apply two coats. This is where you'd usually use a colour palette, but a piece of tinfoil works good enough for me. And I'm just going to pop my colours on in a blob and make sure my client's happy with the colours that I'm using. Although Peach Whip is my favourite colour, when I'm using it to do nail art on top, I do find that the colours can sink into it with it being so water-based, so I remove the inhibition layer with acetone or cleanser first. Now, my favourite Lacenti brush is this one. It's the S1 Striping Brush, and I'm using it to create four triangle shapes at the cuticle of each nail. So I'm leaving one blank, which is going to have the French polish over it. Make this as neat as I can, and I'll set it once I've done all the triangles. Next, I'm going into the French polish. The best way I find to do this is using my striping brush. I um, cut off the two corners and then I use the brush to join them up in the middle. Nice and easy, doesn't need to be too complicated. Then once I've done all the black shapes, I'm then gonna go in and do a white French at the top of each nail and then create the same shape going through the triangles. I got my inspiration for these nails from a picture on Pinterest. I think it's dead important to always be looking for inspiration. I get my inspo from um, a lot on Pinterest. I get it from designers, from fabrics, from anything that I see day to day. Next, I'm gonna take that dotting tool that we've seen in the previous video. And I'm just gonna finish off with a few dots around the nails that I've done a French polish on. Lastly, I'm going in with my super shiny top coat, which is gelish. Again, my favourite top coat. Don't get any chipping, don't get any peeling, and it stays nice and shiny. So I think it's perfect. To remove the inhibition layer, I've been using a cleansing spray from Salon Services on a lint-free pad. I find it does still leave the nails nice and shiny, and you don't actually need to pay out for any cleansers. So there you go, nothing too complicated, a great use of your dotting tool and the striping brush. Any questions, message below, but I hope you've enjoyed it and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the button. Thank you.